Debt in the U.S. is on the rise. Total household debt is more than $17 trillion, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. High balances are leading many to look into different options for debt relief. For more on this topic, I want to bring in Bruce McClary. He's the Senior Vice President of Media Relations and Membership at the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. Uh, Bruce, great to have you here. I'm sure this is a topic that many people are going to stop what they're doing and pay attention. Uh, it's tempting. It, it seems like a great solution outside of having to declare bankruptcy. Uh, talk to us about what debt relief is, what it isn't. I understand it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Yeah, Lilia, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Debt, debt relief is a very broad category, and it includes several options. And I think the important thing for people to think of is which option is most suitable for your unique circumstances? So there's a suitability question that has to be asked at the very beginning when you're selecting which one is most appropriate for you. And right now, people are bombarded by advertising and messaging about which option may be best and which option may be fastest. But it really comes down to your own unique circumstances. So there are different types of, of, of debt relief that are out there in the marketplace. Uh, some people are considering bankruptcy right now. Things are very difficult. Bankruptcy is a process through the courts. It is highly consequential. And oftentimes I say that it should be considered as a very last option, something that you consider at the very end when other solutions may not work. Then there's debt settlement. Debt settlement is another option that may be suitable for people in some circumstances, but it's also highly consequential. And it's typically for people who are in very, very serious uh, financial uh, difficulties and they've fallen behind and their debts are in collection and they're being threatened with lawsuit. Uh, that's when you may want to negotiate with your creditors to settle for less than the full balance and try to get a deal where you're paying less than the total amount. But those negotiations aren't guaranteed. So the ones that aren't successful, you have to think about how you're going to deal with those later. Uh, then there's debt management. Debt management plans are offered by nonprofit credit counseling agencies. And many agencies can be found by going to the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, nfcc.org. Mm. And those are affordable repayment plans for people who might be in the early stages of, of debt delinquency. And it helps you get back on track with affordable payments, reduced interest, lower fees. It also helps reset things so you're showing paid as agreed. So in about four to five years, you pay off your entire debt. You uh, also end up in a better situation with your credit at the end. But it's important to talk to a financial professional and get a consultation first before picking one of those options. So again, a good starting point is talking to a nonprofit credit counselor, having a free consultation, and then making an informed choice about what's most suitable for your circumstances. I mean, if somebody is is facing perhaps debt collection letters and that kind of thing, how do you minimize the impact? How do you make sure to protect your credit? What do you prioritize and where do you go? Yeah, debt collection can apply a lot of pressure, especially in a situation where you're struggling with debt. The first thing people need to think of is, number one, don't commit to anything that you can't reasonably do just to get a debt collector off the phone. Second of all, understand that there are options where you can make installment payments to get accounts back on track. Uh, you can also go to a credit counselor and uh, tell the debt collectors that you're going to work through a credit counselor. And also be sure to know how you're protected by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, uh, which, which provides consumer protection so that uh, you're not abused by debt collectors. All right. Thank you so much uh, for all that advice. Bruce McClary, appreciate it.